So, I wanted to do something different today. This uh, first look, or I don't know, unboxing or check or whatever. And the first thing I wanted to do is show you video of the camera. So I went ahead and attached the, the camera to the car. Uh, we're gonna, it's, it's got the, the weather protection cover, that clear cover. That protects it from like you know rain and water and whatever off so it's just the camera itself uh, i don't have any microphone attached or anything like that so it's just whatever the mic is picking up from the camera because um, i wanted to show you what real real live footage would be like and at the same time i'll probably post this video to driver's garage channel you have a subscribe go ahead and subscribe there as well but yeah we're gonna go ahead and uh, go get some coffee at Starbucks and we'll take video of that that way you can see what it looks like I'll probably post the long version of this on the driver's garage channels and I post a link to it as well so that you can see the full footage there <coughs> sorry and I'm planning also to do a video review um, with this camera as well instead of using the digital SLR for the review the only thing I'm gonna shoot with the digital SLR is going to be the the camera itself you know the buttons the you know the, the structure of the camera the buttons the screen we'll go over the, all that stuff um, that's what I'll shoot with the with the uh, actual digital SLR everything else is gonna be with uh, Everything else is you're gonna see on this video is gonna be with the M20 and the M20 internal microphone. So you can have an idea what it looks like. Uh, I believe right now we're shooting at 2K. And I believe it's also 30 frames per second. So the camera, the video on the camera is great. Um, one, of, one of the cool things I like about this particular model is that the S, um, the company SJ Cam finally broke away from that. Um, what's the name of that? Shoot, I forgot the name of the GoPro. Wow, I'm talking about blanking out. You know what? I haven't had my coffee, so I'm excused. But uh, anyways, they finally broke away from the. Uh, GoPro uh, structure, the way the camera looks, and I think they found an they found an identity with with their models. I really like the way this looks. I hope they continue to make all their cameras this model or this this. Uh, I, I hope they continue with this design, uh, hardware design, because 
you know, it's different from GoPro, um, and, and they don't have to be similar anymore. SJ cams, they're making really good cameras right now, really good action cameras for way less than what GoPro is doing. One of the reasons why they're having so much issues uh, money-wise is because of situations like this where the SJ, for example, SJ cam is one of the companies that are eating into their market with good enough cameras, like good quality cameras at a way less of a price. A price is more justifiable because a GoPro for $400, 500 bucks is just, I think, in my opinion, way too much money for an action cam that uh, could get damaged at any point. Uh, and this this guy is the shit, just looks great video, You'll as you see in the, in the footage. Um, just a great video. So, so yeah, I, look, I do like, first thing I do like is, is the design. I like the, the way that it looks. Uh, you can pick it up in different colors. I believe it's red, yellow, white, black, and blue. Uh, I'm not reading this off a of script. This is uh, off the top of my head, so I'll try to correct it uh, on the video if it is correction. Um, what else? It shoots 4K, even though they don't, they don't advertise it really, uh, but it does shoot 4K. It's a 16 megapixel sensor. 30 meters underwater, I think it can go. Um, what else? Um, it's got two buttons on the side that allows you to go through the menu. And I'll show you that later. Um, so it's, it's, the screen on the back is really nice and crisp. It's easy to see. Uh, it's not overly complicated with like beautiful design or anything like that. It's very simple, which I like because you know when you're in the menu in the menu for an action cam, all you want to do is just go in, set your stuff, and get out. You don't have to worry about like gorgeous or anything like that uh, you just want the camera to shoot good video and the menu to be proper and I think they accomplished that as well uh, so the camera is very easy to use uh, it's got two buttons on the side that allows you to go through the menu and then you have two buttons on top uh, one is a power button uh, that also works as a menu button uh, allows you to pull up the menu and then you have a shooter button that also works as an OK button when you're in the menu and that's about it. Comes with a whole bunch of accessories. I'll show you that in a bit. Whenever we get to the location where we're gonna shoot the rest of it. I'm gonna do the whole thing in an outdoor for the most part. Uh, the only thing that's gonna be shot in the indoors is gonna be the, we'll, we'll take a look at the camera itself, the hardware. So it's easy, like uh, I took video of the camera uh, during the night. And I took some during the day and I took some during the morning. When the right sun was coming out, um, and I video when the lens, the sensors were able to adjust without any issue, going from one spot to the other one. So, like going from inside the house when it was dark to you know driving out of the house where the sunset was kind of coming out, like not the sunset, the sunrise was happening, and the sun was kind of coming out to you know almost getting to work where it was just full daylight. The adjustment it did throughout the whole drive was, was perfect, no issues whatsoever. Uh, it's quick to take video, so it's ready at the moment. Um, it has an option on it where you can tell it the, the moment you turn the camera on, start shooting video, so that's handy. So it's, it's like if you just need that just to go, um, <clears throat> that's handy. You can just turn the camera on, boom, you're in video already recording. Um, one neat feature that I like that I didn't have on the other one that I have is the the screen on the back uh, turns off after uh, a couple of seconds so that it saves battery. So even though the camera is recording, um, it seems like it's not because the back screen is off, but it's actually recording video and, and that helps with the battery. So you don't have that. There's no really. There's no really. There's no real need need for that uh, factory to be on. So I like that. It's a good idea. Uh, what else? Uh, it comes with a whole bunch of attachments. A ton of attachments. You'll see them in just a minute. Um, I like this one. This one is uh, like a frame that goes around the camera, and you can attach that to a pod, uh, which I, which is what I got right now. Attached to the windshield. 
but it also has a little clip you can uh, slide in on the back of it and that clip allows you to just clip it into anything hat pants shirt doesn't matter and I think I'm gonna use that um, we have a trip planned out for uh, Legoland with the family <clears throat> I think I'm gonna use that the video and then I'll post that as a afterwards thing on the, on the channel as well so you can see what it looks like So yeah, the camera looks good. As you can see, she's great. Really happy with it. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below as far as video-wise. Just showing you uh, what I'm eating. It's just a chorizo sandwich. With the Pumpkin spice out there. From a box to the unboxing. Sunglasses. Phone. And the key. Shot of the park. Take a sleeve out, and <clears throat> it's a mess because you know I took this out and I was trying it out. But inside the box, you get a whole bunch of accessories like this little guys right here. That clip, with the 3M tape on the side. This is great, like if you have a car, because you can attach this to the headrest set of the car, uh, that bar that uh, holds the headrest attached to the to the back seat. So you can put that on it, and then you can attach your camera to it. Here's another one. So you can see it's got a whole bunch of uh, attachments, just like a GoPro would, or through rim tape. There's another one. More clips. There's another one. And this is the clip that attaches to the back of what I have on. And I'll show you that on the digital SLR. But basically this slides into place. And then you can clip this to anything. This one is one of my favorite ones. And then you get your, your waterproof case. It's got the buttons on top and on the side, so you can control the camera from outside, uh, from the case, from the outside of the case. Cleaning cloth, top of stickers, the manual, which is bare bones. It's basically your, uh, your basic stuff. Manual is just a couple pages. It's thick, but it's because it's, uh, it's in multiple languages, but it's actually just a couple of spaces and it just basically goes over the same thing. You know, the image format and the video resolutions and that kind of stuff. Basically, a more, more expanded version of what's in the back of the box. And that's just the foam that was there to keep the camera in place, but that's about it. That's what's inside the case. So hopefully from this video you can kind of figure it out if you like the quality of video that it takes. I, I'm, I'm really happy with it. Uh, I really think that it's a great video. Uh, especially in this small package at this price. Uh, the camera sells for about $120, $140 more or less. So it's very affordable. Um, it comes with all these accessories. Um, you know, shoots 2K, 4K, 1080. Um, shoots very good pictures, very good audio for what it is. It's very good audio. You can also attach a microphone to it if you need to. Um, but yeah, let me give you a shot. So this is one more shot of the park. And that's the Volvo. It just came on that. Like I said, I hope you, you know, I'm hoping that you enjoy the, the format. It's a little different for me. It's, all my videos is, are off script. So I'm just telling you like it is what I think. 
without a script in front of me. So, you know, just wanted to give you an honest opinion of what I think of the device. Uh, let's go back to the house and just uh, let's take a shot of the camera so you see what it looks like. And I'll see you on the flip side. This is a part where I wanted to show you uh, basically the device. Um, this is the little case I was telling you about. And basically, uh, you put this uh, on the camera. And then you can basically slide all these other parts, including the little clip that I was showing you about, uh, to the back of it. Uh, let me go ahead and take this off so I can tell you, show you the camera itself. All right, so this is the camera. Uh, not very big, as you can see. Um, it does have an LED um, notification in the front to let you know whether it's on or not. Um, it's got a detachable battery, which opens up here as a slide out uh, section here where you can um, open this the bottom part here and then take the battery out um, you got your LCD screen on the back uh, and the reason why you can't see anything is because it's got this cover but you got this LCD on the back you have two buttons on top and that will be a, a, a power button turn it on and off also works as a menu uh, button and then you got an OK button and um, shutter button um, on this side you have a USB um, is it a USB I believe it was a USB uh, sorry HDMI port um, USB port and the micro SD slot that's where the car goes that's the the case I was telling you about the slide out uh, section that I was telling you about actually you know what let me just slide it out so I can show you it slides out like that and you get the battery on the inside uh, pretty simple um, the whole side and back of the camera is hard plastic but the front of it is soft soft touch material uh, it does come in several colors blue yellow white and black I believe are the colors um, but anyways so you got your um, Wi-Fi button here and then you have your up and down select buttons on this side as well and I, I guess um, not I guess, but um, your uh, screen on the back. Uh, let's go ahead and turn it on. It's already on, I guess. Um, so basically, like I said, you press this button and then that brings you to the menu. Actually, let me show you again. Uh, when you turn the camera on, it goes through uh, automatically directly into uh, video. And then if you press it again, it takes you to your picture taking section. And then after that, then it takes you to the menu. And then here you have video and photo options. You have um, playback, video lapse, slow rec recording, uh, photo lapse, burst mode, underwater, F FPV, which is uh, what you would need for a quadcopter, uh, motion detection, car mode. Car mode is pretty neat. So basically how it works is you set it to car mode and then it realizes that the car is moving and starts like in video when the car moves. Uh, then you got remote control. So that's so you can enable a remote control for it. And then your setup uh, button or setup section. And then here you have like, for example, resolution, what resolution you want to shoot at, loop recording, FOV, YDR, gyro sensor, audio settings, volume settings, all kinds of settings here. And then this button brings you back to to the main uh, menu section. Um, like I said, it gives you the date information here. It gives you times and how many gigs uh, is being used or is available. Um, it gives you a battery indicator here. And then it gives you uh, a notification whether the volume is uh, active or not. Uh, and then the mode you're shooting at. So in this case, it's 2K, 30 frames per second. Um, like I said, the camera is really nice. It's nice and soft uh, to the touch here in the front. Uh, it's not heavy. It's not light. It doesn't feel cheap. It feels uh, substantial. Um, really like the build material on this. I think this is a great camera. I love the design of it. Um, no longer as J cams are sticking to that GoPro um, look. Um, I do like that they're going after their own, you know, their own unique uh, fact, uh, form uh, factor or form look or hardware design. They should stick with this. And I 
hopefully, and hopefully this is something that we'll see from them uh, from here on out, is they'll stick with uh, their own design and no longer uh, copy GoPro as far as the, you know, the, the hardware. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, this is just a, a look at the SJ Cam M20. Um, neat little cam, uh, great action cam actually, especially for the price. Uh, I would totally 100% recommend this. If you don't have one or if you're thinking about getting an action cam, I suggest you go ahead and skip GoPro, go ahead and skip the other ones and go for this SJ cam. Great video, pretty good audio for inboard, in, for the inboard mic, uh, as you noticed on the other video that I uploaded, um, uh, totally worth it. Um, again, checking, thanks for checking out. Oh, by the way, I forgot to show you this. This is an indicator here on, on the top as well. So it lets you know that the device is on and recording. We're not recording, but the device is on. Uh, don't have a car here now. And you press and hold that, power goes off. So it's a power indicator light. Um, again, thank you for checking out the channel. I will see you guys on the next one. And hopefully we'll have more new products and cool uh, gadgets to show you. So yeah.